YouTube family. It's another day with Renee and I. I'm driving today. Doesn't mess up. Renee, y'all be driving. I'm driving to the destinations and she's driving us back home. So, what's the plans for today? We don't really know what we're doing. We're just going to wing it. We're going to do whatever we feel like doing because we grown and our kids are teenagers and that's what we can do. <laughs> so, guys, just an update as far as um, what's going on. So, I'm, in two weeks, I'm going to have some more lipo done uh, to my tummy area. Um, I know a lot of you say I probably don't need it. Some say I do. Uh, of course, Dr. Bancroft did an amazing job. But, you know me, I'm just one of those people, I'm just, I don't know, I'm not all about perfection, I'm not going to say that, but, I don't know, I just want some more lipo, and I think I'll, at that point I'll be 100% happy. Uh, as far as the, um, the pain that I was experiencing, oh, y'all know what, this is bad. <laughs> This is bad, and I don't even want no ticket, so I don't even know why I'm doing this. So I'm gonna stop light. So I'm gonna do this real quick. So as far as the pain that I was experiencing, I was wearing my Gorman and my binders day and night. And so what he said was, and I don't do that because when I'm without it, I feel uncomfortable because I'm used to that compression. And once I don't have it, it's sore because he says it's, what it does is it weakens the muscles. So it's like. I, I can't, my muscles need that support because it's so used to being comp uh, compressed, being uh, that I'm wearing the the binder and the garment all day and all night. And I was wearing the garment and the binder, three binders wrapped around me. So he said, yeah, that's the reason why. So yeah, I'm going to cut that out. I'm going to go to wearing my binder, well, my garment during the day. He gave me a new one. Um, and so the garments I'm wearing, guys, are binder, the uh, garments that my surgeon has given me. And um, so, yeah, I know most people pay for theirs, um, but I guess the first couple of ones are no cost. So uh, he gave me another binder, which is the small, which is what I'm wearing. And not a, not a binder, but the garment, compression garment. And so I'm wearing that during the day and not sleeping in it anymore at night. And so, of course, I'm going to be wearing it a little bit longer now that I'm having some more lipo done. And, of course, it won't be as um, drastic as having the full tummy tuck. So, I'm really looking forward to that. Um, as far as the garment, guys, I wore mine. He, I don't think he really said if he did. I don't recall. But I've been wearing a garment for um, six months now, and I'm still wearing my garments, as I said before. But, of course, I'm not wearing it as much now anymore. Because, huh? Instead of trying to yeah, he said try to wink off of it because I was wearing it too much. Um, so, yeah, that's what I'm trying to do now. Um, yeah, guys, so, uh, of course, I'm still trying to maintain, um, you know, as far as, you know, the tummy tuck. My um, Now that I've had surgery, I want to... Not, I want to lose weight and then maintain it and so of course I want to keep the the belly fat off so that's my ultimate goal now as far as um, you know my ending journey goal is just to maintain uh, my goal weight uh, which I, I really which I guess is about 175 180 whatever I'm comfortable at I'm kind of comfortable in my skin now but I think I'll be more comfortable if I was to lose 10 more pounds because I'm at 190 now and so uh yeah so that's it guys so i guess i'll check in with you to the next thing right now we're gonna go visit my uh stepsister she's in from new york and she wants me to meet her new boo so we're going to meet the new boo and then from there renee and i are probably gonna get something to eat because i ain't haven't had anything to eat you eating today babe mm -mm. no no well i had a, a peanut butter and jelly sandwich like she had a peanut butter and jelly sandwich all right now what a gourmet meal <laughs> So guys, yeah, so uh, yeah, I'll check in with you guys and show you, well, I showed you, I uploaded some pictures the other day of what I'm looking like, so I guess that's it for that for now. So today is just going to be a vlog with us out and about doing our thing, and anything you want to say, Renee, or anything I should bring up? No, just, what's, how's it, guys? How y'all doing? She say, how y'all doing? How's it? How's it? She say, how's it? What does that mean, babe? How's it? Yeah. How's it? It's is it just like, a, hello, what's up? It's just a Hawaiian thing. Oh, it's a Hawaii? It's a Hawaii thing. So, yeah. So, uh, yeah, guys. I guess we'll check with y'all later. I'm trying to hook up with my sister, Bahia. The one that was in the video with me when I went and had my surgery done. I'm going to try to hook up with her today and see what we can get into. Renee and I and whomever else want to come along. So, yeah. Check you guys soon.
you and your family stayed I'm not taking a picture, y'all. I got two of my favorite people with me. Wasn't as now, by him, my Automation sister, the one that was with me on my certain day, that made y'all laugh so hard. Stands ready to assist you with complimentary and vehicle wife. damage inspections, Renee, auto insurance questions, and we're here in LA Crawfish. Plus, our stores have shrimp, plenty of certified crab, technicians available to help head. with repairs. If you need a car or a truck, we're here too. Auto Nation Seafood for real, y'all. Y'all see that? Oh, just nasty. Country, direct direct. So, y'all, I stopped at Walmart to get a gift card and some cash out. And this lady with a whole Mardi Gras head looking ass. Play so fucking nappy and rolled her like some confetti in that shit. I don't have an attitude. Taking her ass slow across the doggone parking lot. Don't y'all hate that? When people just take their time walking across the parking lot like you ain't got nowhere to be. Just because you ain't got nowhere to be don't mean I ain't got nowhere to be. Look at B in the back, y'all. <coughs> so she mad. Because she tired and we got her eyes. Look how tired I am. Look at my eyes, y'all. I'm tired too, sis. Look at my eyes. They watery. Yeah, bitch, I got bad from three years ago. Oh, look at this floor. I ain't never seen a floor like this in Walmart. Sure. They probably this is nice. Let me see. Y'all might have never seen it either. Maybe they got flooded. They just took the shit. They do by these people, huh, y'all? Look at this floor. Isn't that nice? Come on, baby, we're just gonna get for That's real nice. Y'all, I left my glasses, so I had to put on my dollar store glasses. But we ended up coming to the outlet because my sister wanted to get some shoes. So we had the Adidas. The Adidas. I guess it's the Renee, you pronounce it. But why all these people here spending their FEMA checks and, uh, and Red Cross and whatever else they got? I ain't never seen this many black people in one place. I'm not racist though. Let's see if she actually gets some shoes. Yeah, I'm talking about you. Let me go so I can put yeah. my fanny in this stuff. Oh, put it in, girl. Yeah. Where Renee went? Yeah, I'm working my dollar store glass. These are cute. These cute, huh, y'all? Them same ones like uh, Renee and them guy. They just girly. I think I'm gonna get them for myself. How much are these shoes? Forty nine ninety nine. Forty nine ninety nine. Y'all, I'm about to get these shoes. I'm about to get them. Y'all, hold on. I'm about to get these shoes. Y'all, she's standing there like I'm taking a picture of her emotions. Bitch, y'all, We in a Nike store, y'all. But somebody know what tennis shoes we show is picking up some stuff. We ain't like we got some money. Look at her. That's how you do when you when you work hard, y'all. Y'all can come and buy you anything you want. But these was twenty percent off over there, and these are nice. Those are nice. What y'all think? Y'all think those are cute? I think those are really cute. I like these too. Y'all, I'm not a big tissue wearer, but then I tried on these two and these. But I think I'm just gonna get the other ones. I'm gonna show them to y'all. Y'all, y'all know buy you a food, right? Her name is Bahia, but I call her Bahia. My sister food, so we in here in the store, as y'all can see uh, at the outlet, at this uh, bra and panty store. This girl walks out with them titties hanging out. I'm ready to be fitted. Isn't she a fool? What size was it? 42 double D. 42 double D? She wanted to add some colors. She said she don't want black. No black. No black. So you said 42 double, 42 double D? Yeah, yeah, then you better go to Playtex and Bally. Playtex? Playtex and Bally. Playtex and Bally. See y'all in a little bit. So y'all, this is the means to good night because we, we never made it to bowling and we never made it to, what else? We was gonna either go bowling, shoot pool, or go to the skating rink. Unfortunately, we never did any because we never made it. Uh, we spent too much time at the outlet. So the only thing we did today was get something to eat and spend money at the outlet on tennis shoes. Renee didn't find anything, not that y'all care or <laughs> care if we bought anything at all, but might as well talk about it because that's what we went to go do. So anyway, um, yeah, so I got a pair of tennis shoes and Renee didn't get anything, but her birthday is this month guys so we're gonna be going to New York um, I'm gonna try to vlog that as well but we went we're going to New York they're having the um, wine food festival um, oh 
out there in New York. Um, Food Network is going to be there. So I'm really looking forward to spending time and hopefully getting to meet, well, spending time and hopefully spending time and getting to meet um, the cast of Chop because that's who was hosting the event. So, yeah, we're looking forward to that. We were going to go Vegas, but we decided because the days we're going to go to Vegas are the same exact days that they're going to be holding that event in New York. So we decided to go to New York. So we're looking forward to that. And so guys, oh yeah, before I close out this video, I wanted to tell you guys, um, I know most of you guys are here just to follow me and see, you know, what's going to happen and what's going on with my tummy tuck. So for those of that are here to keep up with what's going on with my tummy tuck, I just want to uh, also tell you guys about uh, one of the, I, I believe she subscribes to my page. She's always commenting. She's very supportive. And she also had a tummy tuck. Her name is Marie Farley. Is that her name? I believe that's her last name, Farley. I believe that's the correct pronunciation. But check out her uh, channel, guys. She's more detailed and her page focus, her channel focuses more on just the tummy tuck itself. Because I know I got a lot of other things going on in my channel. So really check out hers because her uh, videos are more detailed. Uh, she gives you a breakdown on her process, her journey, also on um, the garments, you know, the recovery process. She's more thorough when it comes to those things like that. And so I I advise you guys, go over and show her some love, check out her channel. And um, yeah, it's very uh, informative, um, is for a better word. Uh, so please check out Marie Farley's um, channel. So yeah, guys, so other than that, um, as you, I stated earlier, guys, I'm going to be having um, the lipo done. And, of course, I'm going to share that with you guys because I love you. And I just want all the tummy tuck, you know, women, ladies out there, you know, that's looking forward to having a tummy tuck or having a tummy tuck or had a tummy tuck or thinking about having a tummy tuck, tummy tuck or BBL, you know, just get as much information as possible. So hopefully I've shared enough where it, it's been uh informative for you guys but if not please check out her page but um i've been noticing that um a lot of channels that I, other channels that i've been watching a lot of the ladies have been trying to um sleep in their bed i don't know what that's all about because sleeping in that bed is very difficult ladies especially when you just her first had your tummy tuck it is not the best place to be when in your first two weeks of a tummy tuck at all i don't think in the first four weeks to be quite honest um but it is very uncomfortable and it's very difficult to get out of bed so use the technique as far as a side plank if you're going to do that if you're going to sleep in your bed because it's very difficult and it's very painful to do that i mean when i cough to this day and i'm, I'm six months i'm approaching six months it is it hurts I mean, it literally hurts. I cannot cough. I can't sneeze. I can't do any of that. So to put all that strain on yourself to get out of bed, that that's a lot. You can, you can. That's cause. That's asking for trouble. You could, you can, you know, um, tear like your um, sutures, your stitches. You know, and you don't want to do that, especially if you had abdominal um, a muscle repair. You don't want to do that, guys. So be careful getting in and out of that bed if that's what you're doing. I highly advise you, and I was very informative to me and very helpful when a lot of the ladies shared that you want to have a, a, a recliner. You want to sleep in a recliner. That's the best way to sleep when you're when your first uh, two weeks of so. But if you're getting in and out of bed and you're doing it safe, kudos to you. But be careful with that, ladies. So I think that's the only thing I wanted to touch on because I just seen that recently and I just wanted to talk about that a little bit. But uh, yeah, guys, so um, I got another garment. I shared that with you guys earlier. So that's pretty much it. I'm going to be having the lipo done in two weeks. So tune in for that. Uh, please check back in with me uh, for that upcoming video. And then, of course, I want to show you guys um, a side by side since I'm, I was sharing with you guys and I'm still able to fit my old clothes. But of course, I look better in them. But I, I can still fit them. So I'm going to show you guys some side by side. I'm going to do a video soon with side by side just photos of what I look like then in a dress and what I look like compared to now versus now. So that'll be coming up sometime next week, hopefully. 
So uh, other than that, guys, I just want you to know. Oh, guys, I'm in a size, ladies. I'm in a size 12 now. Isn't that awesome? I was in a size 14 when I started this. I'm a size small, uh, two size smaller. And this, the pants I have on now are size 14. And when I tell you they've fallen off, they're falling off. So I'm doing good as far as keeping my weight down. I might look like a lot bigger in the camera. I'm not sure. But uh, again, I am a big girl because I'm 190. But as always, guys, I love you. Thank you for all your love and support. Hopefully, uh, these videos have been informative, informational, uh, entertaining, especially for the blogs. Uh, so, guys, just know that I love you. Thank you all for your uh, for subscribing. To all the new subscribers, welcome to the uh, Open Book Gal's channel, which is my channel. I'm Open Book Gal, also in the real world known as Inaya. That's a beautiful name, right, guys? I just love my name. It's Inaya. It's Arabic, and it means a blessing from God. So, uh, guys, as always, love you. Live and love life to your full potential. Be blessed, guys. I'm out.